This episode of Cultured Fools has been sabotaged by its own creator. Benjamin, the bell end got really pissed the night before and is subsequently very hungover. The Wunarud, otherwise known as the people of the hills and plains, were the first inhabitants of the Hunter Valley and have occupied that territory for 30,000 years. In fact, their occupation of those lands extend all the way back to the Dreaming. In indigenous Australian culture, the Dreaming is a sort of world dawn, a period of time where the uh, natural environment was shaped and humanised by mythical beings. The first sighting of the Hunter River by European settlers was in 1797, where it was discovered by chance by Lieutenant John Shortland during a search for escaped convicts. Hunter Valley is Australia's oldest wine region and by the 1820s they had roughly about 20 acres of vineyards planted. By the 1840s that had gone to 500. The huge surge came after the arrival of viticulturalist James Busby who basically spent a fair amount of years going around Europe collecting vine cuttings and then he brought them back to New South Wales. Very nice of them wasn't it? One of those first grown wines is the subject of today's episode of Cultured Fools and synonymous with the Hunter Valley, yes, it's the golden skin grape Semillon. Semillon is named after the town Saint Emilion. As I've said before, Semillon is an iconic wine of the Hunter Valley region. And since the 1830s, it's gone under a few different names. Hunter Valley Riesling, Shepherd's Riesling, Rheingold, Burgundy, and Chablis. And I said, I'm afraid there must be some mistake. I actually asked for a pianist. And what's the deal with airplane food? The warm and humid climate of the Hunter Valley technically shouldn't be capable of producing Semillon with any great character. Yet Hunter Valley Semillon is one of the world of wine's wonders. Try and say that after a few Semillons when you're hungover. Most Semillons, in fact most white wines, um, should really be drunk young. Um, Semillon's quite similar to uh, Sauv Blanc when it's young, it's very sort of zesty and grassy. As it gets older those kind of green fruits dissipate and are replaced with sort of honey, butter, waxy kind of flavours and that's kind of more like Chardonnay. Benjamin is drinking award-winning Hunter Valley Estate Mount Pleasant Wines 2013 Blue Label Semillion. He's going to hurl. Right, let's do it. It's actually a remarkable golden colour, isn't it? This jewel in the Australian wine's crown is always fermented in stainless steel. I can't do this. Definitely get the, uh, the lemons and the apples. Um, it, it is kind of veering into kind of tropical fruit realm. A pineapple. All right, let's get this over with. Definitely have those lemons um, and the green fruits like apples and pears. Um, we're always kind of getting a bit of a kind of popcorn y flavour in there as well. It's really nice. What am I doing? The bad news is that we have to remove your feet. The good news is that the man in the next bed wants to buy your slippers. Tough crown. It has that sort of oyster shell taste, so it, I think this would go really well with any shellfish or any seafood, to be honest. Um, 100% something like a, a fish and chips would be really good. It will really cut through the fattiness of that. Um, love the idea of having this with a curry, like an Indian curry. I think that would be a wicked compliment. I think that would be... I think that would... If you're a fan of white wine, yet yeah, you always sort of end up ordering Chardonnay or Sauv Blanc because they are the most iconic and recognisable. Um, do yourself a favour and try to find a Hunter Valley Semillon because you'll find that they could be somewhere between the two and I think that it's a really good alternative for either, especially if it's young, more like Sauv Blanc, if it's older it's a bit more like Chardonnay. Ladies and gentlemen, however hungover I am going forward, I will always deliver you content on a Tuesday, wine related content on a Tuesday. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for the comments and all the likes and all that stuff. Please keep it up. Um, see you next Tuesday.
I'm gonna vomit.